With just about four months to go until the first in the nation primary, candidates are hitting the campaign trail in New Hampshire, jockeying for position. Steve Bullock in Manchester tonight for a democracy town hall talking about Citizens United, which he says has been the fight of his career. So we want to make sure that people know that elections are about their voice, not corporate dollars or dark money spending. The Montana governor wasn't for the impeachment inquiry into President Trump at first, but says the call with Ukraine changed his mind. Forget how the politics might shake out of this. For this idea of the preservation of our representative democracy, we need to move forward on it. At the Coas County Democrats' Harry Truman dinner, businessman Andrew Yang said this about the president's decision to withdraw troops from northern Syria. If we make any kind of move, it would be in consultation with our allies and it would not be an abrupt pull the rug out from under people type move that people felt came out of nowhere. Um, and so uh, to me, that's what President Trump did. Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard says she might boycott next week's Democratic debate in Ohio, saying the process is rigged. The DNC and the corporate media partners are arbitrarily determining which candidates get to be heard by voters on those debate stages and which ones are completely shut out of the process, telling voters, no, you don't get to hear from those guys. Retired Navy Admiral Joe Sestak spoke about the need to unify. America's greatest power is not its military, it's not its economy, it's our power to convene, to bring together nations, people of the world for common cause that serves us all. All four of these candidates will be back in New Hampshire campaigning across the state tomorrow. In Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.